Alrighty, the CPU market for the past five plus years has been significantly better and more appealing than the GPU market, particularly if you want budget or mid-range options that don't suck. Uh, why do you think that is? Is it because Intel is less dominant over its respective market than NVIDIA? Is it something inherent to the way GPUs are designed and fabbed uh, and also reliant on AIB partners that has killed the $200 market? Am I whining and graphics cards are actually great? Well, I don't think you're whining. I don't think, like, the graphics card situation is certainly better than what we saw years prior over, like, cryptocurrency booms and stuff like that. You can actually buy them, so I guess we should be thankful for that. But, yeah, the, the sort of the current generation, which was the next generation not that long ago, was pretty underwhelming, like, you know, 4060 Ti being slow in the 3060 Ti and examples mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And being in stock is the bare minimum. It's not like... Yeah, yeah. Being so, in stock at the advertised price is like, that's what should happen. It's not... It shouldn't be exciting. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head, though. Uh, Intel isn't as dominant in the CPU market. There's been sort of a resurgence for AMD. They've come from nowhere to be quite relevant and really they're... They're winning the sales on the retail front. They're, they're selling more CPUs, um, as far as we can tell, the retailers and distributors that we've spoken to. So that's forced Intel to actually make some price adjustments and sell like 13th gen, 12th gen, 11th, 10th gen chips. Cheaper, like historically, they pretty much almost always sold at or very close to the MSRP. Mm -hmm. So we've seen Intel adjust pricing a bit to try and counter AMD. AMD's obviously been very aggressive on pricing, which has led to these really good value mid-range to low-end CPU deals. So that's all very exciting. Uh, it's, it's a different situation on the GPU front, obviously. It's a less of an AMD versus NVIDIA thing. I mean, it is and it isn't. Like, if AMD were way more competitive, then it would mm -hmm. force NVIDIA if they didn't want to lose the gaming market. So if AI slows down like cryptocurrency did, then they're coming back to a market where they've lost a lot of ground and then they'd mm -hmm. have to be aggressive on pricing lower margins to try and claw that back so there is that going on but obviously there's just a demand from a different audience or a different industry that's that's hurting mm -hmm. gaming i think mostly it's the more on the competitive side of things intel and amd cpus are much more closely matched than mm -hmm. i would say especially at like a high end like a 14900k isn't an amazing release or anything but it's not that much slower than a 7800X 3D. And they trade blows. Yeah, they, they trade blows, right? And you can see that across most of the price points and positions in the market. And I, I think a lot of people are still buying AMD for reasons like they already have an AIM4 motherboard, so they're still buying older Zen 3 CPUs and things like platform support and things for future generation products. And the fact that AMD does have typically the fastest overall processor, which mm -hmm. does help. Whereas you look at the Radeon versus GeForce and... AMD are quite competitive at some price points, but if we're talking about things like the high-end market, you know, 7900 XTX isn't really at the level of a 4090, much closer to a 4080. And, you know, that does have implications for competition across various things as well. With CPU features, there's not as many software features that you're being sold with a CPU, whereas on the GPU, the there's so many more fronts that are being fought right now than just overall performance. And even overall performance is split between like rasterization and ray tracing and the competition between NVIDIA and AMD is so different between those two areas, let alone all the features discussion. So it just makes the level of competition very, very different. But yeah, I agree. I think if either AI was less important right now, then potentially NVIDIA would have more reason to compete. Or if AMD was much more competitive in that field, then yeah, we would see a much more strong, healthy market because whenever the graphics card market has been the strongest, best, most most healthy, the competition has been the most. Like mm -hmm. the, you think back, you know, the 30 series, if that wasn't ruined by cryptocurrency, that would have been a very competitive generation because the two brands were much pretty closely matched. And if you think back quite a way as well to things like R9290 era and prior to that, um, when, you know, Radeon, even ATI back in the pre-AMD <laughs> days, um, you know, the market then was really good because of, the, you know, the very strong competition between the various brands and the big improvements you're getting year over year. So when it comes to these discussions, it always comes down to competition. We don't want one player in the market dominating uh, because that just leads to bad outcomes for consumers almost all of the time. So, yeah, it's even worse when there's another market they'd rather service. Yeah. So if it's a monopoly where the, that monopoly is focused on other things, 
that is the worst. So yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Bring us back some competition, thanks.